The backlash from this video is spreading across America tonight. Civil rights leaders are condemning a grand jury's decision not to indict a New York police officer in the chokehold death of a black man. Now, protesters here in Asheville took to the streets, voicing their frustration with the grand jury's decision. We have team coverage of the fallout, including fears that racial tensions are rising here in the mountains. News 13's Justin Hinton joins us live from Pack Square, where the protest started. Justin? That's right, Darcel. The protesters are now gone, but their chants of no justice, no peace, and Black Lives Matter echo throughout the Pack Square area, as well as other parts of downtown. As police officers looked on, dozens of protesters gathered in Pack Square, voicing their frustrations. Hands up! Don't shoot! One day after a grand jury declined to indict a white New York police officer in the choking death of Eric Garner, an unarmed black man. Put your hand behind your back. This video shows that confrontation between Garner and the officer. At times, Garner saying, quote, I can't breathe. If you can't indict that, that's an indictment on us as a society. No trust, no peace, no trust, no peace. The protest also comes one week after another grand jury declined to indict another white officer in the shooting death of another black male. This time, an unarmed teenager named Michael Brown. Any of these people could have been my family. And they are my family. Humanity is my family. And whatever you do to the least of these, you do unto me. Race and class, two of the most scariest things right now in America, to be poor and to be a minority right now, because they say, we're going to get you. Murder is murder! As the congregation grew, so too did the voices on the move, echoing throughout downtown Asheville. When America really wants to pledge its allegiance back to me, that's when I will be proud to be an American. <laughs> Honks of support greeted the protesters on their journey, as did police officers following along, making sure the protest did not get out of hand. By the end, we counted nearly 20 cops gathered in the area before leaving a short time later. The New York police officer's case is not over. Attorney General Eric Holder announced that the Justice Department will be conducting a federal civil rights investigation into Garner's death. Reporting live in Asheville, Justin Hinton, News 13.